Hi, Donna Schwartz here. This is an example of how some of the video lessons will be on my membership website. What I'm going to do in this introductory lesson is explain some of the concepts that I use when I teach my lessons, and I'm going to basically teach you how to play a, a fairly simple song, Hot Cross Buns. The way this is going to work, um, I'm going to teach you how to sing the song, we're going to go through some patterns, some tonal patterns, and then I'm just going to use the trumpet as a reference. I could pick up any instrument I want. I've got a whole bunch of saxophones here, flute, whatever, but I'm just going to use the trumpet as a reference. And I'm going to play some patterns from the song, and then I'm going to have you play the whole song um, after me. The whole point of this is that I want to develop sound before sight, so I'm not using any notation. We're just going to use our ears today. Okay, so I'm going to put my trumpet down. The first thing first thing that we're going to do is I'm going to teach you to sing the song Hot Cross Buns. I'm not going to use the lyrics of the song. I don't want to rely on the lyrics to remember a note or a particular rhythm. Um, I want to be able to really just know the tune. Okay, and we're just going to do the melody. Normally when I teach my lessons I also the melody and the bass line, but we're just going to do the melody for now just to keep it simple and short. So I'm going to come over to my handy dandy piano. I'm going to sing this in the key of I'll do concert B flat. What I normally do is I play a little piano introduction. It gives me the key, the keyality of the tune. Um, it also, for my students, it gets them ready to say, to think, okay, something's coming up. It could be a song, it could be patterns. It gives my students information, like it's going to be in a major key, okay, and it could be a song, it could be a pattern. I'm going to sing my direction, all right, and I'm going to sing it. Um, I'm going to use an introduction to the singing, and then I'm going to sing my direction on a particular note. The note that I'm going to sing the direction on is the first note of the tune. So, okay. Bum, 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 listen here. Bum, 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 those of you may recognize this as the song Hot Cross Buns. Okay, so now I'm going to sing that again. What I'd like you to do is this. This song is in a duple meter. So what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to move to the big beat. The big beat is basically the same as me putting a metronome on. I'll put this a little slower. Metronome on and moving to the big beat, the metronome. Okay, so what I'd like you to do is if you're at home, sway, 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 sway. Bum, 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 listen to the song again. Do, 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 do. The most important pitch of any song is the resting tone. If we're in a major key, the resting tone is going to be do. Sing do after me when I point. Do. Great. Okay. I'm going to sing the song again. I'd like you to sway to the beat. I'm going to use a piano. A couple. Bum, bum, bum. Listen again. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Resting tone is do. Sing that pitch. Great. This is what I'd like you to do. The next time I sing the song, I'm going to break it up. And I want you to be hearing do the entire time for the song. Every time I stop, I want I'm gonna point, you're gonna sing do. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna sway again. Sway, 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 sway. Bum bum bum. Listen again. Do 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 do. Rest in tone. Do. Great. Do 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 do. Do, do, rest in tone. Excellent. If you noticed, each phrase ended with the resting tone of do. Great. Okay. I'm going to sing it again. This time what I'd like you to do, you just move to the big beats, right? Well, they're small beats. I'm going to tell you that we're going to feel them. Well, no. I want you to tell me, <laughs> or you to think, what do you feel the small beats in? So I want you to sway. Sway, sway, sway. Bum, 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 listen again. Do, 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 If you 
said the small beats were felt in sets of two, you were right, okay? And this song is in a duple meter. So this is what I'd like you to do with your spider fingers, I call them. If, if Those of you that have animals, if you have dogs, you notice how they have like little pads, little cushions on their, on their paws? Well, we got the same thing, but I'm going to call it spider fingers. It's nice and quiet. We're going to take our spider fingers and tap on our thighs like this. Bum, bum, listen again. Do, 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 Can you sing the rest in tone? Do. Great. I'm going to combine two movements. We're going to sway to the big beat of the song and tap, tap the small beats on our lap. Bum, 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 listen again. Do, do. Rest in tone again. Great. I normally I sing this song a few more times. I'm pretty sure that you guys know this tune, so I don't want to beat it to death. Okay. I'm going to sing this song one more time. I'm going to go to the piano and play the accompaniment. I'd like you to really listen to it, and what I'd like you to think about: think about the small beats you can tap on your lap. The small beats if you'd like, you could move to the big beats, or just sit and listen, try to hear the resting tone. Um, so again, let me sing the song one more time, and I'll give you a direction when I'm done singing the song. So here's my introduction. Bum, 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 listen one more time. Do, do, do. I'd like you to hear the song in your head without me having to sing it. Hear the song in your head. I'm going to give you about 10 seconds. How'd you do? Were you able to hear the melody in your head? If yes, that's great. If not, were you able to hear part of the melody? And if you were, fantastic. Don't worry if this seems very difficult for you. Oh, this is a skill. Okay, and this is going to take some time, but more, the more times that you learn songs like this in this way, in this procedure, it's going to come a lot quicker and a lot easier. All right, so now you just sang Hot Cross Buns. You just went... Bum, 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 you sang it like this. Do, do, do. Now you have the song in your head. See, the more stuff, right, the more songs, the more patterns, which I'm going to do next with you, the more stuff we can get up here, the more you're going to be able to play on your chosen instrument. Okay? So now, normally, if I do a song in major, I'll do tonal patterns in minor, okay? Or I'll do rhythm patterns in triple or whatever. I'm going to keep it a little simple today. I'm going to do major tonal patterns, okay? So I'm going to go to my handy dandy piano. I'm going to pick a little bit of a higher key. I'm going to sing a pattern. When I sing the pattern, I point to me. When I want you to sing it back, I go like that. Bum, bum, bum. 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 Now those were in three notes. That was a three note pattern. Two note patterns now. You noticed I took a breath before you were to sing. Okay, so I'm kind of getting you ready for uh, singing your part of the pattern. So again. Bum, bum. Bum, bum. To do. Don't worry if you didn't get all the patterns. Again, this is another set of skills to, to achieve over time. Okay, even for teachers being trained in this method, trust me, it took us it took us a while to be able to sing those patterns. Okay, so we did a song, we did some patterns. Now the next thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna assume right now, 
um, that you have some knowledge of at least three notes on your instrument, just to save some time. And the reason why I'm assuming that is because I want to teach you how to play hot cross buns on your instrument. I'm going to use the same key that we did when we sang the tune. Okay, so I'm going to, this great thing about the trumpet, I can use it like a I'm going to get my sense of key. This is the key of concert B flat. A lot of your band methods start with the key of concert B flat. So for a trumpet, clarinet, tenor sax, your three notes are E, which is going to be me. I'm going to assume, uh, let me backtrack, I'm going to assume that you have some knowledge of at least three notes on your instrument, okay? Um, or you have a method book where you can look at a fingering chart. Just for the purposes of this introductory sample video, I want to be able to move this a little quickly. All right, so this tune's going to use E, which is me, D, which is re, and C, which is going to be do. I'm going to use the me, re, do's instead of the E, D, C's. For those of you that play different instruments so you won't be confused. You're going to notice I sing a lot of my directions. I can't help it. It's just a habit. All right, anyway. So for hot cross buns, we've learned to sing it as do, 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 do. Well, first thing I want to do is this. I sang it. I sang it perfectly. I was a rock star. That was great. Awesome. I know the direction of the melody. It went do, do, do. It was going down. That repeated do, do, do. Here's the only change. Do, 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 do. Last phrase is the same as the first. Do, do, do. So if I get the first phrase, I got three quarters of the song. If I get that little thing in the middle, then I got the whole tune, which is great. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to first play some patterns on those three notes. I want to get the sounds in my ear. So for these, I am going to show you. Um, I'm going to show you the first patterns, the fingerings. Then you're going to see me turn my back. Why am I doing that? Because I'm mean. No. <laughs> it's because I want to develop your ears. Music is an aural thing. It's an aural experience, meaning hearing. If I, if you just follow my fingerings, you're not, you're not getting the whole picture. Okay. So some of you are going to not like that, but you know what? Just trust me on that. Okay. So, the first pattern, I'm going to use E, which is me, and D, which is Re. I'm going to play with a little bit of a side shot so you get an idea of how I'm going to do this. I'm going to play the pattern. You're going to play it back as soon as I'm done. Okay? So, I'm just going to make up any kind of patterns. This is not from Hot Cross Buns yet. You play that back. I'm going to start on Re and move up to me. I'm going to start on me and move to Ray again. I'm going to start on Ray and move up to me. Now I'm going to start on Ray and move to Do. Start on Do, move to Re. Start on Re, move to Do. Start on Do, move up to Re. I'm going to go from Me to Do, starting on Me. Start on Do, move to Me. Start on Me, move to Do. Start on Do, move up to Me one more time. Now I'm going to do some patterns that are going to be from the song. You should have me, re, do, kind of in your ears, okay? Let me sing the, the tune one more time. No, better yet, let me have you hear the tune in your head. I'm going to give you like five seconds. Hear the tune in your head, and then I'm going to start the patterns. Okay, 
first pattern, the song starts on me. So this is going to be a, um, a short pattern. When I turn around and point, that's when I want you to play the pattern back. I'm going to play the pattern again. Same procedure. One more time. Third time's a charm. The next pattern I'm going to do is going to be, that was the first half of the song, by the way. The next pattern is going to be the next half of the song. This is a really short song. By the way, I should say this. You notice that I'm having you play the song the way you would sing it. I'm not having you play it the way you, you'd do it in a method book, which would be hot cross buns, rest, rest, hot cross. Who sings it like that? Really? No one does. So I'm having you play the song the way you would sing it. Now, normally in my lessons, we'd go over articulation styles, and I'd have you going in the air, then on the mouthpiece, then on the mouthpiece with my lips just a little separated. And then I have you play it on the mouthpiece. Okay, I'd have you do it that way. But I'm just saving a little bit of time right now. I just wanted to give you a general idea of how I would teach uh, a video lesson or even a lesson on Skype. Okay, so we went through the first half of Hot Cross Buns. Okay, we did it three times. Here's the second half. Do, 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 do. Think of what the starting note and the ending note would be. Do, 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 do. Your choices are do, re, or me. Okay, so think of the starting and the ending note. Think of the direction of the melody. Does it go up? Does it go down? Does it stay the same? Okay, so here's the second half of the melody. Again, I'm going to turn so that you're just focusing on the hearing. When I turn on a point, you play the pattern back. Second half of the song. If you made a mistake, that's fine. In fact, that's great. Why? You don't learn unless you make the mistakes. Okay, here we go. We'll do it again. It's probably getting better. Here we go. We'll do it again. time. Um, only because this may be a little tricky for some of you to go if it is, repeat that after me. Now on your instrument of choice, I'm not going to show you the fingerings, but you're going to hear air sounds. So I'm going to go like this. Repeat after me. And I should say, I'm going to do that again. I'm going to do it with the fingerings of the song. That's why I turned my back. So repeat after me. Air sounds, articulations with the fingerings. Now I'm going to do the second part of the song again. Do, 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 do. Think of your starting and ending notes. And think of the direction of the melody. Repeat after me. Now what I'd like you to do, hear the whole song in your head. Just quietly hear it in your head. What I'd like you to do is sit there and finger the song while you're hearing it in your head. So I'd be thinking, and I'm not going to show you fingering, so I'd be thinking, do, 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 do. The only difference, I'd be doing the fingerings. Take 10 seconds, do that. Okay. I'm going to 
gonna play the entire song. We know it starts on me and it ends on do. I'm gonna play the entire tune. When I point, you play it back. Try to resist the urge to play it along with me. Okay, I'm really trying to develop your ears. So listen to it as I'm playing it. You know it'd be great if you sat there and fingered it while I played it. And have it in a playing position while you're fingering it so you could boom, just play it as soon as I'm done. Okay, so here's the tune. Bum, bum, bum. Repeat the whole song after me. Let me do it again. Bum, bum, bum. Repeat the whole song after me. How are we doing? Probably getting better and better. One more time for good luck. Here we go. Bum, bum, bum. Listen and play after me. Okay, do the song again, except this time I'm going to play the piano. buns and you played it the real way the real way is the way you know the tune the way you would sing the tune okay so I hope you enjoyed this sample lesson all my lessons are going to basically be around the same um, the same process okay they're going to be uh, songs that you know some songs that you don't know some songs that you don't know are going to help you to play the songs that you want to learn how to play okay so everything is basically going to build from there so again, I hope you enjoyed the sample lesson. Please check out the rest of my website, www.donnaschwartzmusic.com. If you like this lesson and you're considering taking more lessons from me, there's a couple ways to do that. Um, you can do individual lessons via Skype or Google Hangout or webcam. We could always make that work. Or you could purchase uh, video packages, just individual videos on the website as they, they keep coming up. Another option will be to subscribe to my, web, to my website, uh, pay a monthly membership fee, and you'll have access to all the videos uh, for the entire month. And you could pay on a monthly basis or a yearly basis. And this way you can keep playing the videos over and over again to help develop your ears and to help learn as many songs and tunes as possible. Again, the whole premise is I want you to develop the sound before the sight. See, the thing is this. Great jazz musicians learn this way. They learn their tunes this way. In, back in the 40s and 50s, they'd hear a live performance, they'd have to remember it, go home, scramble, get their instrument, and figure it out. Okay, so everything, you know, was done by the sound, not the sight. And if I develop your ears well enough, and you develop your ears well enough, when you start to read music, it's going to make more sense to you, and you're going to read everything really, really quickly and easily, and it's going to be so much fun. So thanks for joining me, and Check out the rest of my stuff on my website, DonnaSchwartzMusic.com. Have a great day.